Well, hey, y'all are. This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Kitchen Range. Uh, I wanted to give you a little short primer on how to open a can with a Swiss Army knife. Now, recently we talked about different can openers and how they work and, and, and like that and how not to kill yourself with them. So, I'm making these little series of videos that I'm going to put together and show you how to use these various can openers so you can get a can open in the field. This is the Swiss Army knife version. Okay, this is a push to cut arrangement. So how this guy works is you have the cutter here. And you also have your screwdriver right there on the end. Okay, so how this guy works is, and this is your bottle opener, so you catch the lip of the, the bead of the can in there. Push it down like that. Now the next thing is you have to push that guy forward. See, and you work it around there like this going forward. Now the main thing here is to keep your, don't be holding it like this. Because if you slip, that cutter's sharp. It's going to slice that hand open and you're going to be in big trouble. And if you're out in the field with a two inch split on the end of your finger, you're in trouble. Okay, so hold it down here at the bottom and work it, work it around there. And this is how it works. It is not the most efficient can opener that was ever designed. As a matter of fact, I think the Swiss Army design is very inefficient and it's dangerous. But if you handle it right, okay, if you handle it correctly, the main thing is you have to remember to put pressure on the side to keep your lip hook down here on the bead of the can. Okay. But you can work it around through there and eventually get to where or you can get it open. And that's soup. Alright then, hang around. We're going to be talking about the rest of the different kinds of can openers along the lines. All right then, on to the next one. Y'all are again, this is your old buddy George Jones over here in the Bergen Kitchen Range with my next installment on how to get a can open without killing yourself. So previously we looked at the Swiss Army knife. Now we're going to look at the GI style and Boy Scout pocket knife can opener. This is a drag to cut arrangement. <laughs> So what you do is you hook your little lip in there, hook your little claw in there, and work it back. Again, you have to remember, you have to carry the hold the can down here at the bottom at all times to make sure that if you slip, you're not going to tear something open. And you just work that guy around backwards like that. Works pretty good. Of all the pocket knife style can openers, this is the one that I prefer. Now, you also see this on the uh, Leatherman tool has the same variation on it. And the Leatherman tool works pretty good. In fact, it's a little bit more aggressive. Okay. And it works. It's, it's more aggressive than the than the Boy Scout style one. We got one more I want to show you. This thing is a ridiculous arrangement. I think it's the one on the British issue. Uh, an Italian and you know several different versions and the way this guy works is you plunge it down in there if you can plunge it down in there and puncture your can and then work it around from the inside like this okay and it just about doesn't work. It works pretty good. 
but it rim rates the can. It doesn't create a good clean cut, but it is pretty efficient. Okay, so it kind of works as well, but it is a lot more, I don't know, ragged and jagged cut, which tells me that, you know, this is the Boy Scout style one over here, and then that one's the Leatherman, and then this ridiculous looking mess is the British one. Well, there you go. Always remember when you're cutting with one of these things, keep your hand down low. In case you slip and have an accident, you don't have to go to the emergency room. All right, then. That's about the size of it. So you can go out there and open some cans, will you? This is your buddy, buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Kitchen Range with my next installment on how to get a can open in the field. So... One of the ways you can do it is with the best little can opener that was ever invented. That's this thing. The P38. Now this is the little P38 that typically back in the day came in cases of sea rations. Uh, the P38 is a World War II invention. And it basically came about by... Uh, individual soldiers injuring themselves trying to get ration cans open with knives and beating them open with a claw hammer and any other way they can figure out how to get it open so the the uh, war department came up with this thing and it's a very simple little can opener and it's not very big at all and the way this guy works is you've got that notch right here Okay, and that fits in the bead of the can around the top, okay? So you just take that guy and stick it in there just like that, and then just give it a little twist, and work it around through there, and it'll open that can up pretty efficiently. Just work it back and forth, and back and forth. Now, the P38 is pretty efficient, and it's pretty safe. But it has a big brother, and this is also a GI issue piece of equipment, marked US right there, and this is the P-51. So, and it give you a size comparison here between the P-51 and the, okay, so it's a little bit bigger. And it works a little bit more efficiently because you have a little bit more leverage, a little bit more gripping surface. You can just do a go to hell job of getting a can open with this thing. And it doesn't matter if it's a number 10 can, you know, or one like this, a number 3 can. But it's a very, a very efficient field can opener, okay, a very efficient little can opener, and uh, you can pick these up in surplus stores for a buck, typically, you can get them for about a dollar, and you can pick these up for about a dollar as well, so of the two, probably the best one to have is the P51, because you, know, you can get a can open with it. And you get a can open pretty efficiently. And you don't have to worry about slicing your finger open or killing yourself trying to do it. Well, all right then. There's a lot more ways to get a can open besides using a can opener. And we're going to start talking about those in the next installments. All right then. We'll see you. We are back at the Bergen Kitchen Range with my next installment on how to get a can open in the field. So, <clears throat> I wanted to demonstrate the... I was looking around in my different boxes looking for my French Army knife and I finally found it and I realized that you can't open a, a, a can with a French Army knife at all because it has four corkscrews and, and nothing else on it. 
So I thought, okay, let's see if we can open one with a can or a can with a knife. Now this is the cold steel pin bear. And this is the cold steel version of the Mora knife. This is called the Finn Hawk. And this is about the right size blade to use to open a knife with a, open a can with a knife. And the way this little trick works is you're going to be cutting up. Okay? You're going to be cutting up. Now in order to do this correctly, it has to have a fairly square spine on on the blade. So what you do is you start out with poke a hole in your can. Like I said, this ain't exactly safe. Okay? Start out by poking a hole in your can. Okay? Once you get a hole in the can, then you rock your blade back. Okay? And continue to guide and work it around. Okay? You get it one, it wants to go straight, so you have to twist it a little bit and get it to go off in another direction. And you just continually work the blade around. Okay? Now you have to remember, again, always keep your hands down low. Work on a solid surface, a rock, a log, or something. Okay, and this is not going to produce a very clean cut. Okay, but it is going to allow you to get the can open without spilling the contents all over, all over the place. Okay, so you just slowly work it around. You know, and it's a fairly fairly jagged cut, but I've never had any problems doing this with uh, metal being in the food or anything like that. It's just the can, the can lids are typically uh, alloyed in such a way that the, the can isn't brittle. Okay, so as you work it around, you want to it'll want to go toward the center more. So you bring it around here, work it on the spine a little bit, and keep going around. Like I said, it's not a pretty open, okay, but it is a serviceable open. And there you go. Now, if you've got something that can, you're going to go in there and fish it out with your fingers. Uh. I'd use some real caution because it's a mess, okay? But it can be done and it can be done safely. Remember, anytime you're opening a can with anything other than a design can opener, you always work on a hard surface, a rock, a log, the ground, whatever. Always keep your hand low on the can, away from your jagged metal and away from your cutting tool. And there's one way you can do it. All right, then we'll go on to the next one. Here we are back at the Bergen Kitchen Range with our next installment on how to get a can open in the field. <clears throat> well, one of the ways you can get a can open in the field is with this. See that? That's a, you young people don't know what this is. This is a device commonly referred to as a church key. <laughs> a church key. Uh, this is a can opener. A drinking can opener. A beer can opener. Now it's been 60 years since uh, soft drink and beer cans had to be opened with an opener. But for many, many, many years, flat top beer cans, the only way you can get into it was this. And the only way you can get into a a tomato juice can or a grapefruit juice can today is you know with one of these guys and they work like this you get a hold of this little lip here you get a hold of the bead of the can and it just opens it right up just like that okay and you can go to the other side of it and open it up fire and now you've got a air relief and you can pour with it but you can also overlap your punches okay 
and get the can open with it. And there's one other thing you can use. Well, there's several. You can use all kinds of things. We'll talk about something else. This is a screwdriver. A plain old flathead screwdriver. And what you do is you get the screwdriver on there a little bit offset. Okay? And you punch a hole in your can. Then, like with the knife, you can work it, work it around and rip it open that way. It's not a very neat cut, but you can do it. Also, you can simply work it around in sections. Like go over here and make a, another incision. See how there's a little space right there? Then come over here and break that. Okay? And continue to go around your can that way. Okay, and break that. And, you know, you're talking about pretty thin sheet metal, a lid of a can. So, when it comes to worse, you know, you need to get that can open without spilling the contents all over the place. <clears throat> now, there's a method that you can use that's very reliable and it works. <clears throat> if I can say it without choking to death. The can lid, the can header is very thin. So all you've got to do to get that off there is find you a flat concrete surface and rub that can back and forth on that flat concrete surface. And it doesn't take very many, very many strokes across that flat concrete surface to wear the bead of the can out and the lid will come off. The only problem with that equation is you have the contents of the can upside down. So it's going to start leaking pretty quick. But, you know, you can get it off that way. So you can use a church key, a screwdriver, a P38. You can use a, a, a field craft knife or a bayonet or a K bar, or, you know, or any number of pocket knife can openers to get one open. You just got to remember, you kill yourself <clears throat> out in the field trying to get a can open. You cut yourself bad enough or injure yourself bad enough that if you were in the field, you might not survive it. That's why I made these little videos. Well, all right then, y'all have fun. Try not to kill yourself with a can opener. See ya.